Hi, Scott with Bounty Hunter Bootcamp. Today, we're going to be talking radios. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, what radio do we use? Now, that's a Pandora's box. Everybody has an opinion, but I'm going to share with you how we went from inexpensive radios to more expensive radios and why exactly we did that. In the beginning, we were using inexpensive radios that just about anybody could buy from any department store, electronics store. And the first thing we found out was a lot of people have these radios and a lot of people share these frequencies. So we'd be sitting on the side of a house, waiting, trying to be stealth, and somebody come over the radio, hey hon, did you get the groceries from the grocery store? And that pretty much blows your covertness. Another downside with the inexpensive radios is there's not a lot of accessories that you can use for them. They don't have a lot of tactical accessories that help you be stealth, which was one of the reasons we moved to the next set of radios. Our next set of radios were a little bit more expensive, programmable ham style radios, and uh, they immediately had limitations. Though they were good distance wise, uh, they had a lot of problems with connectivity and just evolving to um, a more sophisticated rig for us which leads us to our Motorola's. Uh, the very first radios we went with were the Motorola HT750's, which is this radio here. It, in fact, it's the radio that I still use today. Uh, then we uh, elevated up to the Motorola HT1250, which has a little bit more options and a little bit more channel selection. And one of the things we had to do is we had to get an FCC license, we had to purchase a frequency but the great thing about these radios, a lot of connectivity options. You've got the microphone, so you can clip it on your belt. You can easily push to talk. Very, very easy operation. Uh, another option that we have from a stealth standpoint are earpieces that can plug out of our handsets and into our ears. And that also gives you only one side of the conversation is anything anybody's gonna hear. The last thing you want is when your guy's at the front door, the guy at the back door goes, hey, I see our guy through the window. That might make the person who's answering the door um, a little bit more resistive and a little bit more difficult to get into. But if you've got an earpiece in, the only person that knows what's going on in the conversation is you and your team, and that could keep you alive. Another thing that I absolutely love about the Motorola radios is you can pretty much go online and get any kind of accessory. I've got team members that like throat mics, I prefer the transducer mics and uh, lots of different options. You've got the Secret Service model, uh, which is an earpiece that goes into your ear, attaches to your radio, very modular, and then you've got a push to talk button. So you can just push, talk, it's a little bit more stealth, no microphone hanging off you. It's a nice option. Another nice option for you is a throat mic. Some people like the throat mic, throat mic goes around your throat and rests on your vocal cords and has an earpiece that goes in your ear. You have a large push to talk button, which is nice for tactical vests. You don't have to reach for a button. You got a big button ready to go and ready to push. Very nice option. What I like to use is the bone transducer headset. This headset goes on, it goes over my ears. The speakers go into my inner ear through my temple. I have a, I have a boom mic to my mouth. My radio goes onto my vest. Got a push to talk button, which I can locate anywhere on my vest that I want. And this really gives me the ability to hear in a 360 degree radius. No longer do I have a plugged ear that I have diminished hearing in. What I used to do when I used to use the, the ear pieces is I would have to pull it out of my ear a little bit, which caused me to turn my radio up, which made me louder and with with this system i'm able to have my volume at a very low level it goes in through the goes in through my in through my head and into my inner ear and it's just an outstanding for me personally is an outstanding system that i absolutely love and don't ever want to go back to any other system another nice thing about the the headset that i'm using is that it allows me to wear hats it allows me to to wear my helmet if i'm in a um, highly volatile situation and it's just a great overall, all around fit for me. And the key, the thing that really sold me on this system was the ability to hear 360 degrees and not have anything within my ears. 
Some other options that are available are these inexpensive radios that are available online. Uh, they have multiple accessories and microphones that go with them. They're fully programmable, which is a nice feature. Um, I believe FCC licensing is necessary on these. Don't quote me on that. Check with the radio manufacturer and the frequencies that you use. If you need an FCC license, get one. It's worth it. Um, avoids you lots of headaches. There are a lot of different radios to choose from. It's a matter of finding what fits within your budget. If you're starting out, you may want to go with a little bit lesser expensive radios. And as you become more successful and as your team grows, you may move to uh, the Motorola's or maybe even, you know, even a more advanced radio that will allow you to talk over an even greater distance. Some of the lesser expensive radios allow you to have sub channels that give you a little bit more privacy. Um, most of these have a very simple um, eighth inch jack for an earpiece, which doesn't give you too much capability for stealthness, but they are inexpensive and um, an option. It's just a matter of finding what works for you. Um, can be kind of an expensive process as you purchase radios. One of the nicer advantages to more professional radios is the ability to have rechargeable batteries. And uh, our radios have rechargeable batteries. I have a dead battery, I grab my truck, and I grab a fresh battery and away we go. No downtime. We have about 25 batteries that we keep charged. Uh, we never know how long exactly we're going to be out in the field. So it's nice to have all of our batteries with us, all of our batteries charged. Our goal at Bounty Hunter Bootcamp is to make you a success. Thank you so much for watching. Check us out on the web, bountyhunterbootcamp.org, and like us on Facebook, Bounty Hunter Bootcamp. Thanks for watching.